Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We are jumping in once, once, once again. And we're going with, ah, uh, we did turn it's that kind of recently. Um, Andromeda, we haven't done Andromeda in a little bit. Uh, we can check his completion notes as we get in as well. Let's uh, do that. It's, is it check unlocks? Um, or check marks? Andromeda, check unlocks. Check marks? Marks. Did I spell Andromeda wrong? Andromeda, help. Let's find out. Okay. Andromeda marks. God damn it. Did it. Okay. We've got quite a lot to do. We've only done Isaac Blue Baby. So we've got a lot of options here. The Beast is apparently a really good one to go for because there's planetarium unlocks in there. there. We've also started with... Um, Oh no, you start with these trinkets anyways. What a fitting item to grab. I mean, come on now. You you can't you can't be mad at getting the black hole as Andromeda. Isn't that just the most perfect thing you've ever done seen in your life? But for today's question of the day, kind of an odd one, and one that I'm not even sure that everyone will be able to answer, depending on your age. <laughs> but what what is your favorite flash game? What is your go-to flash game? I, I have quite a few. There's definitely a few on my mind. I mean, I don't know how many people remember good old Cool Maths games. There was a... <laughs> cool Maths games was like the go-to site at school for playing Flash games because it never got blocked because of the name. Um, <laughs> there was a good few of those that like kind of got around it. All the classics um, got blocked, but that one... That one stood true, stood the test of time. But I kind of have two that come to mind for me that have always been like go-to classics that I used to play for literal hours. One of them is like an, I think it's called Ant Buster. Ant, I think it's Ant Buster. I, I might be wrong on the name there, but oh, this, this fly is incredibly annoying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Ant Buster. Basically, it's a tower defense game where you, at your side of the map, there's a cake and at the other side of the map, there's an ant hill and you have to defend the cake from the ants. Um, oh, this is going to be a very, very nice uh, boss to use this on. I like the way it just uh, opened up all those spiders. Like, you're released, then immediately it kills them. Dude, dude, dude. I can't believe you got away from that bomb there, sir. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Oh, my. This is going to be kind of a rough fight now, actually. Um, I would very much like uh, 4.5 volt. But, yeah, so I am... Um, and Buster used to be my classic. I, I really like uh, tower defense games. I think they're really fun. The only one that I've not really been a fan of is Plants vs. Zombies. I know some people might smite me for that, but I've not really played much of them. But the one I did play, I wasn't a huge fan of. But that was quite a while ago now, so they're probably a lot better since I last played them. And there was, then there was that Isaac one called I Rule that came out about six months ago, so however long ago that was now, which looked really cool. I never actually tried that out for myself properly, but it did look pretty interesting. But yeah, like I've always been into tower defense games. Um... I think they're really fun. I mean, I've played a good amount of, like, Balloons Tower Defense and stuff. That's always, like, a classic that everyone goes to. But, um, this, this Ant Buster one, I don't know what it was about it. It was not like it was a crazy good Tower Defense game or anything like that. It wasn't, like, the best one on the market, but it just had some level of charm on it that just, I don't know, it spoke to me. The tower upgrades were so cool. There was, like, different upgrade paths you could take. And, I don't know, there wasn't even that much strategy to it. Because, like, a lot of tower defense games kind of take you through a specific route on a map. Like, a zigzaggy map or something. This one was just kind of, ants come out of Ant Hill, they go towards cake. It was probably one of the most basic ones. Also, tier size up here is actually really good. Um, it was kind of one of the most basic versions of one. And it was probably one of the first, or one of the earliest Flash games that I played. But, my god, it just... I don't know, Flash games just have so much charm to them. They just... They just feel so, I don't know, so so nice. I mean, there was also some of the more weird ones, like um, the Bubble Buddy one, where you basically, like, you, you just had unlimited methods of torture to torture this, like, bu little bubble dude. And then there was another one as well. I don't know how many people saw this one or played this one. But there was, there was a literal torture game where, like, there was a dude, like, hung up and you could, like, strip his flesh off and, like, hit him with a baseball bat and stab him and stuff. And, like, everyone used to love it. Everyone used to lose their shit for it. It's like, looking back on it now, it's like, what's wrong with children? <laughs> Why did we enjoy this? And, I, like, people that don't know what I'm talking about are going to be like, 
Okay, weirdo. But some people out there, you're gonna you're gonna be with me on this one. You know about that game. It was weird. It was weird. But everyone was playing it. But then, yeah, um, I don't really know anyone else that, like, knows. Uh, like, obviously when I was at school, a few of the people, a few of my friends used to play it. But, like, nowadays, if I ever bring up this Ant Buster one, I feel like people just think I'm a weirdo and don't, um don't actually think it exists and I just made it up. It's, it kind of does sound like um, some weird fever dream that, that never <laughs> never really existed. Oh my god, these guys are tricky. Kind of having a little bit of trouble with them. It's just Any enemy that chases you become really, really problematic. There you go, that helps out. Um, and in this room we will use you. Whoa, that guy, that guy can resist a gravitational pull. What the hell? He's a machine. The stickiest poop of all time. More bombs. Can I get a single key, please, game? Get a single key, please. That'd be real nice. Okay. Okay, slow moving enemies. Not bad, not bad. Come on. Give me a key, please. Give me a key. But yeah, then the other one that all that I always used to play, like just a ton, was the Falling Sand game. The Falling Sand game, oh. That was like the pinnacle of gaming when I was younger. <laughs> I don't know how many people have played it, but essentially it is basically exactly what it sounds like. You get like sand and a bunch of different other elements and stuff, and you'd like draw a little level and it'd just kind of be like a sand timer that you'd play out. But then also like in sort of, sort of the later versions or like the more up-to-date ones, they had like a bunch of different elements and a bunch of different materials and all of them would like react differently. Hmm... I know I haven't gravity shifted yet, but shielded tears just seems incredible, especially for this. Like, <laughs> can't touch me, baby. Um, yeah, uh, it had like a bunch of different reactions you could make, and you could kind of make these cool sort of chain reactions. But then on top of that, it had like, it had like grass that would grow and spread, and like you could create these like mini little ecosystems. It was kind of like quite in depth for like a flash game, like. I mean, there is some really good Flash games out there, but that that was, like, really, really in-depth. Oh, this is... I'm not going to go Devil Deal here, but that is really, really, really good stuff there. Especially considering we got lost contact. We kind of need more damage to make up for the shots we're going to lose. Um, but, yeah, like, it was, it was like, really creative and really interesting for, like, that, that early sort of mod. Do you know what? This is a necessity. Come on. No, that, that, that enemy stayed alive for way too long then. We lost so much charge. Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Get it in there. There you go. Get, oh, can't get this this wave. But doing pretty well so far. Health is leaving a bit to be desired, but otherwise good stuff. We also got Magus as well, which is two plus two batteries in our card there. So that's really nice. I know I'm not really using Gravity Shift much at the minute, but I think we're okay for now. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Not bad. We can definitely make our way to a shop now. And we have enough keys to do whatever we want with. And yeah, it's just, I don't know. I, I'd lose hours on that game. Whether at school or not, I'd lose absolutely hours on that game. I know that obviously Flash is kind of dead now. But they have revived some of the Flash games in a way and brought them elsewhere. But Flash itself has has unfortunately ceased to exist, which is big sad. I don't know where, um, where Flash games are kind of hosted now. And uh, maybe they're downloadable. There was another one as well that I played quite a lot, um, that was, I can't remember the name of it now. It was called, like, Ski something or other. Ooh, moon card, I'll use that right now. Yeah, it was called, like, Ski something or other, and it, it was pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Um, you'd kind of, like, draw, basically it was a little stick man dude that would, like, ski down a path. But you got to, ooh, hello, um, upgrade every normal familiar to super... Um, I'm really worried about these purple fires, but I think I'm far enough away. I'm just going to get near the wall here just so it doesn't push me out of the room. Upgrade every normal familiar to super with doll's tainted head. Um, upgrade every familiar to ultra. Oh, okay. I have 20% chance to find a sewing machine in angel rooms. Okay, so that's not very good for now, but that might get better. It can only get better. It can only get better. Yeah, I don't know how they access uh, flash games anymore. I haven't really looked in a while. A hey, planetarium. Very, very nice. Very, very good. We can get the planetarium item from this, or we can take the uh, broken planetarium, which gives us a, cho a choice of four normal treasure room items, which is also pretty good. And honestly, 
Oh wait, no, Satanus is really good. Satanus is really good, actually. Holy shit, Satanus is incredible. I was gonna, I was gonna badmouth it, but actually, with shielded tiers and everything that's going on, this is pretty top tier. More health there as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. This is a really cool little run we got going on right now. A really cool little run. Okay, then. <laughs> when I said a really cool little run, wasn't quite expecting it to be this cool. Not had to use gravity shift at all so far. Definitely need some fire rate, that's apparent. This is so cool. Goddamn, the C-sections, like, rotate as well. This is kind of cool. Oh, my God. I've lost track. Oh, hello. And hello. Both. Very good there. Car battery plus, um... Plus this? Does that actually throw two? Does it last twice as long? Who knows? Oh, hello. Big poopy. Okay. You're going down pretty, pretty quick. Let's not take any dumb damage here. We can definitely do a beast run here. I keep forgetting you don't have to release when you're holding fire with this. It charges, but there's no need to release. Ah, okay. I did take damage there. Dumb me. Dumb me. Another angel deal here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, that's our angel deal that we already got. Doesn't matter. I'm dumb. Um, I'm going to leave the lighter here because I don't really need it. And um, I want to make sure I don't forget to do that. Oh wait, no, we don't need to do that with Andromeda, with Andromeda, do we? Doesn't matter. Ignore me. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to the rest of the rooms. We don't need to. Let's keep this, let's keep this trainer moving. But yeah, um, as I was saying, this this falling sand game just, it, it, it just enthralled me. It was just so interesting, so cool, so unique. And for those of you that don't know, I don't know if it was the direct thing that that kind of caused it to exist, but the roguelike Noita kind of became a roguelike version like a much larger and roguelike version of this little flash game and it was just so top tier. I think I was talking about the skiing one at some point but I lost my train of thought there. It's easy to do that with Isaac. Um, but yeah, um, I'll get back to that one <laughs> eventually. But it became Noita um, and oh my god I don't know how many of you have played or seen Noita but that game is great. Ooh, Very nice as well. I realise we haven't used Gravity Shift at all yet but the items are too good. They're too damn good. It's kind of crazy. I don't even know how lead pencil's gonna work with this setup, right? The Emperor. Nice, let's just pop it. Yeah, I don't know how many people have seen Noita or played Noita, but got diggity damn. That is a top tier roguelike. It's, it's confusing. And it's, it's kind of extreme and very in-depth and has a lot of hidden lore and secrets and... Yeah, but it's still like a really good game. I actually have two series of it on my channel. One modded and one uh, vanilla if people want to check it out. Because it is definitely worth taking a look at in my opinion. Go, my little babies. Go. Eat what you can. Damn you. Having, having shielded tears is so nice just for having Saturnus. Like, we don't really care about Shield of Tears for the C-section. Whoa! Whoa, do you see that one? What was, what was going on with him? He was absolutely on a wild ride. Okay, this is kind of exactly what I was hoping for here. Oh, 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 oh I see. Lead Pencil fires um, shots that orbit me, watch. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it's every 15 shots. Eight, nine, ten. I should show this off. <laughs> 11, 12. There you go, look. And it creates a shielded tier aura, which is pretty cool. It's obviously pretty rare at the minute. We really need some fire rate to, to bolster that a little bit and make it a little more viable. But right now, pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff. Definitely need a little more health if we can get it. Didn't need to use the black hole there, but at the same time, I think it's completely fine. But yeah, Flash Games was just such a good era. It, it really was. The, the ski game that I was kind of talking about, or started to talk about, that one was really cool. Basically, you'd, like, draw a line for your skier. Oh, fire out. That's really nice. You'd draw, like, a line for your skier to ride on, 
Um, and you could create these like intricate tracks. Some people created some just insanely detailed because it was literally sort of like pen on paper, sort, well pencil on paper sort of thing where you could draw scenery, you could draw the track however you wanted. And some people have cre created some absolute masterpieces with just insane backdrops and stuff. But also, one of my favorite things to do was um, like a press forward or auto play track where essentially the track would just play itself but because of that you could create these just really crazy and intricate um designs where like your rider would just do like backflips on backflips on backflips and do like crazy jumps and stuff that's totally improbable and a lot of games kind of have those now i know that like um even even in like super mario maker there's stuff like that. One of the other games that I used to see a lot of them in and used to kind of make a lot of them in was uh, Trackmania. That's that's actually a game that I've always been like really into um, and kind of just recently got back into a little more. Um, I don't know how many of you out there, I've probably mentioned this guy on my channel numerous times before, but I'll mention him again. Ooh, that's really nice. Um, there's a guy called Virtual um, that creates... Uh, Trackmania content. He has like a main channel where he uploads like reviews of like speedrunning and world records and like great achievements and cool tracks and stuff. And then there's like a second channel where he just kind of shows him doing the track of the day. And he's like a pro player. He's like, I don't know, I don't exactly know where he lies, but he has like numerous real world records and the tracks for speedrunning and stuff like that. Um, so it's just really entertaining to watch. And then I'd, um, I think they've just become more popular recently anyways over the past like two years, three years or so, maybe kind of since Summoning Salt kind of came to the scene. Having the, the documentary style of video surrounding speedrunning and he does a really good job of bringing that to Trackmania. And I even think to, to a certain degree, even if you don't play Trackmania or even if you're not really that interested, you can find a lot of enjoyment out of those. I mean, I've obviously, like I said, kind of always had... That was a really bad bomb. I need to wait until uh, my tears are gone away. Uh, I've always had, like, a, a really, like, big enjoyment of Trackmania. I mean, I, I used to play it when I was a kid. I just, it's just got me thinking, uh, talking about Flash games, got me thinking about games I used to play as a kid and stuff. So, um, that one's really on the mind. And yeah, Trackmania was definitely a huge one for that. So I've definitely always had a love for it. Um, it was kind of one of the first games that me and my dad played together a lot. Um, so obviously it's it's just kind of close for that reason as well. I would like to get another few pennies and buy that, uh, buy that little soul heart there. Because our health is good, but not great. Good, not great. And then we can do that. I don't know if I'm going to... I don't know whether to use this cracked key at all. I've not really had a good idea with that yet, I'll be honest. Don't worry, C-section is doing its thing. Kind of zips and zooms. Because of the dark texture on them, you can't, you don't really see them zip off and then, then you kind of turn around and everything's dead. Okay, we need one more penny. This is only Dank Depth's one. I'll uh, take out this guy. I'm really hoping we get some familiars here so we can see this uh, angel item in action. Probably should have done that over the top of the uh, spikes, but oh well. Apparently in this situation he's immune to that anyways okay good he has been bested oh okay we're good i'll check this nah 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 we've got what we need here let's let's uh skip and hop our way back but yeah, it was kind of a game that, that me and my dad used to play quite a lot and uh, one of his friends as well. Because the, the the older versions of the game, they did have a, a campaign that you could do of like 65 tracks, I think it is. But also the, the online had like user-created tracks where you'd get like 15 minutes for everyone. My God, our items today. Um, where everyone would uh, get an opportunity to try and get the best time on that track and see if you could win. And oh, the competitiveness of it was just so enjoyable. Um, and then creating your own tracks as well, like I was saying about those press forward tracks, kind of what got me onto this. Creating your own tracks was really, really interesting. But both the press forward ones and regular tracks were just really entertaining to make. Um, and even when I was younger, um, they didn't seem that hard to make. I think that's one thing that I always find really, really strange is when um, you kind of think back or look back or even go back to an old game that you played as a kid. And you're like, how the shit did I do this when I was a child? Like... I still remember, to this day, I, I have literally no idea where I got the information from. Bear in mind, the internet wasn't really um, as easily accessible for a kid as it is nowadays. But, um, yeah, I remember uh, that 
in Pokemon, I think it was like Fire Red or Emerald, I can't remember which one it was, I got like the Reggie Ice and Reggie Steel Pokemon, which for those of you that don't know, like, you have to like go underwater to a specific area and catch a specific Pokemon and then bring it back to a specific area and then wait until a certain time of day and then enter a hidden entrance to a cave and then read fucking Braille on a wall. Um, <laughs> like, I like went to my account, I've got all these Reggie Pokemon and I kind of remember doing the steps to get them and I'm just like, how the hell did I do this? Like, I must have had some sort of guide, but I'm, I'm like, where did I get it? <laughs> Who told me this magical craziness that, that, that I've got before me here? It just... My God. Weird to think. Um... <laughs> and Angel's Box. Reward. I love that. Oh, you are feisty. Feisty one, you are. Oh God, he he didn't used to shoot before, right? Is that new? Maybe that's just the uh, the mega version of him. He was gonna drop an item, but he didn't because this room's this this room is brutal. The regret pedestal, let me know. So sad. Okay, this is a bit tricky because these guys can shoot back at me, but the C section babies should do a decent job of taking him out. Although he's kind they're kind of eating the C section babies and reflect they're reflecting the C section babies back at me. This isn't fair. I don't think I can hurt these guys. I've got to use bombs. Wait, look at <laughs> Okay, okay, we got it. Right, how exactly does this thing work? Let's pop it out here. Okay, fair enough. Not exactly the most lucrative of rewards, but I'll take it. I shall indeed take it. I kind of like doing that and setting those up. Set up some shielded tiers here and there. I wonder if we'll ever use gravity shift this run. <laughs> We can't have every single item room be an absolute banger, can we? Surely not. That was just a really stupid hit there. I gambled. I gambled. But yeah, I kind of moved on to um, playing uh, Diablo 3 with my dad and a bit of Diablo 2. Um, I don't know how many people out there game with their parents. I know it's not a super common thing. Um, usually because either the parents don't game or I don't know. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I used to, I still kind of do every now and again, I play a lot of uh, Diablo 3, my dad. Um, kind of got into that because uh, he was really into, and still is really into, uh, World of Warcraft. Um, which, I just, I don't know, I couldn't, I couldn't really ever sort of get into it. And then obviously with it being a subscription model game as well, it was just kind of like, I don't know if it's for me, it's not, I don't know. Yeah, and I never really got into that one, but he started playing Diablo and that was much more my style. And that's actually, I think Diablo is one of the games that kind of informed my, um... Ooh, hello. Oh, I can't even do anything with you. Big sad. Uh, I think, I think Diablo is one of the games that kind of informed and created the enjoyment that I have for the roguelike genre. And you are thinking, well, hey, Diablo isn't a roguelike, but it kind of is. Like, not in the traditional sense of the word, but the way that you gather gear is by going into rifts that are different every time with different enemies and different elites, and each time you get different loot and different loadouts and different drops. Uh, and I don't know, that, that sense of kind of repeating the same thing. Oh, here we go. We finally got a baby. Oh, I should have gravity shifted that time, but I wanted it. Um, Yeah, that sense of... um of like repeating the same thing but having it be different each time just i got really addicted to it i start I, I just absolutely fell in love with that idea it's just such a cool concept and then obviously when i found out oh damn there's an, an entire genre of games that are all about this and that's kind of how i first stumbled on oh i got the coming down mod by the way because i mentioned it in the last episode um yeah um that that kind of uh got me to the point where i i, I started i think it's when i first looked up um, the Binding of Isaac and started watching it with Northern Lion. I must have watched Northern Lion for about a year before I, um... We forgot the full card. It's fine. I don't really care. Um... I think I have it somewhere here, don't I? There you go. Good, good. The fool. Sorry to all of you that think that's cheating, but oh well. Uh, 
to the well. Right, give us more familiars. I don't even know what the, this rainbow baby one does. It looks like he's got herming and the tears like transform. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you, whatever you whatever you do. I don't want to deal. So yeah, and then I kind of started watching Northern Lion play um, Finding of Isaac for probably about a year or two before I actually picked up the game. I probably watched near to like 500 hours of the game before I even touched it. Because uh, I did used to watch like one or two of his episodes every single day for a long time, a really long time actually. All the way through university, um, college, uh, it was it was like first year of college that I discovered him. So it was all the way through college and university I was watching him on a daily basis. The Steam Sale one's always not really my uh, my gem. It's a good one, but like I don't need it right now. I don't know what this guy's going to do, but I'm scared. Okay, I never got to find out. Need to check out the shop here as well. It's interesting how um, different, like, different opinions and different uh, sort of likes and dislikes towards games form. It'd be interesting uh, to hear for you guys where your um, love for roguelikes or whatever genre is like your main genre. Where where did that evolve from? What what created that love? Was it some? Was it playing one of those games for the first time? Or was it seeing someone else play it? Or was it, like I said, like a game that's kind of unrelated, but like has that sense and then you discovered a genre that's more akin to that and it kind of, yeah, you fell in love with it. It'd be really interesting to know from you guys. Um, I'll grab that. I'll grab that. And I'll grab the scratcher. Scratchers, while don't always pay off in Isaac, I will always gamble. I've never bought a scratcher in real life, but in Isaac, I gamble. I think unless our item is god tier here, I'm going to gravity shift. <laughs> I feel like I've been letting the side down here by not gravity shifting at all. Oh, yo, my, my uh, rainbow baby is charming the hell out of everything as well. To be fair, he's a charming little lad. Okay. He was one of the Healy boys. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Sorry. It's a familiar, and it's two of them. I have to. <laughs> also, was there a sewing machine? There better be. I mean, I got one upgrade in them already, which is nice. But I would like to sewing machine these fellas. I can't. I can't give up double Willow, even if it means no gravity shift. We got the black hole. It's 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 Andromeda enough. Damn you, game. This upsets me greatly. I don't know if there's any way I can get an upgrade for these lads now. Very big sad. But let's let's just push forward onto the rest of the run. Okay. Grabby, grabby. Grabby, grabby. Yeah, double Willow's an interesting one. I don't know what the upgraded version of Willow does. Oh my god, the birth circle a single enemy. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm gonna get onslaughted. This has been a really nutty run, to be honest. A really nutty run. Oh god, there's a plane going over and it's hella loud. What the heck? What the hell's going on? But yeah, I've actually got a few uh, Isaac recordings to do this weekend. It's my dad's birthday um, on Sunday, so they're coming down tomorrow for the weekend so i've got to prepare all my videos which means double isaac recordings today and then double tomorrow Just fit it in my lunch break or something and also i don't know today i'm feeling a lot elden ring I've, I've i spoke about it a few days ago but my god i have been loving elden ring it is probably one of my favorite games of all time only slightly below hollow knight and i haven't even near to finished it yet so we'll see if that changes when I get closer to finishing it. Also, I could stop getting hit. That'd be real good. Let's uh, do some bombing here. Gravity shift those. Stop. Damn you. I doubt this does anything for us, but I'll take it. I, th I think that's useful. There's also a broken heart there, which I'm not particularly interested in, to be honest. Okay, and one full heart container for one broken heart. It's like, not the greatest deal I've ever seen. 
have to admit. Oh god, Tainted Boomfly. Oh my lord. Yeah, I was just about to say, there is absolutely zero chance I get out of the way of that. Mmm. Telekinesis is real good. But I'm going to gamble and take the card. It's an Ace of Hearts. I mean, honestly, I think the Ace of Hearts is better, better for carrying right now. I think we could really do some cool stuff with that, depending on the runes we get. I need to remember that I don't need to be close to enemies. C-section will handle that f that part for me. I really don't need to be close to enemies at all. Most certainly glad that I did it on this room. I only got one black out of it, but goddamn, it saved me some trouble because that room looked annoying as all hell. But yeah, just stay out of the way of everything. C-section will handle it, and if not, Willow will get there eventually. Do you know what? This is a black hole sort of room. Sort of room, even. But yeah, I've really enjoyed reminiscing today about classic games, old um, old Flash games. I don't know, it's just the nostalgia for them is deep. Just because it's like, I don't know, a lot of people, like, I know that different people go through different issues and problems at school, so it, it's never really a flat thing. But I actually reasonably enjoyed my time at school, so I'm... I'm uh, quite nostalgic for it and when I remember games and stuff that I used to play while I was at school it's like oh simpler times like not not that I'm not happy with where I am right now I'm actually quite happy with where I am right now especially with like YouTube and everything but I don't know just the time where like your your biggest stress was an exam that in the grand scheme of things makes literally no difference to your life whether you pass or fail <laughs> is um is nice no, it's not, it's not pass or fail, whether you get a good grade or bad grade. As long as you get a C or above, you're basically in the clear. <laughs> Maybe play him? Oh, God. Big Jimmy over here is doing his, doing his best. Okay. Didn't manage to get any more health, really, which is a bit of a shame. Was hoping we'd get a little bit more health going on here. Go, C-section. Take this fella out. It's kind of funny how, like, he was surrounded in an orbit of flies and we're like, no, no, have my orbit of flies, sir. Here's my orbit. <laughs> I just love the fact that every single one of these little willows has a, has a little tiny crown on. It's just so satisfying. We never really got too much going on with Fire Air. The player will, um... Fire a continuous stream of weak poop tears in the opposite direction. Ooh, I think that's kind of good, right? Because they'll all, they'll all orbit us. Yeah, that's that's really good. They're all shielded. Yeah, that's 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 very good. Doesn't matter how low damage they do, we can still fire them forward, and they're all shielded. Which high high tier rate on shielded is always insane. Glad to have it. Are these Willow dudes creating fires when they hit enemies? It looks like they are. Ooh, I wasn't expecting you there, sir. Ooh, also the knockback's particularly quite nice. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Wasn't sure what was going to happen there. I also haven't commented on the absolutely adorable Andromeda C-section sprites. They look so good. <laughs> they look so good. Okay. We have Maiden to it. That's pretty good to grab, actually. Uh, just in case we take a bunch of damage, we can lower our speed for some extra hearts for the uh, the beast portion of the fight. Just in case. <gasps> yes! Oh, shit. We didn't have enough money for that last one. Damn. But we got one of them. Yeah, we got one of them upgraded. Which is... What the hell? That's confusing. There should be three ones with... Three ones with golden... What the hell? There should be three with Golden. There isn't. This is confusing. What happened? I'm perplexed. Oh, Trace is actually kind of good. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out this boy. I'll save uh, Black Hole for the second phase. Okay, luckily he's not tainted. Uh, he's not, not, you know what I meant, not tainted. Um, 
Eternal. The Eternal version of this guy is quite something. Ah, oh, come on now. We are wacky, wavy, and flatable, flailing tube beam. I'm normally quite good at dodging this beam, but today, it's not my day. Dude, three times in a row? Could you chill? There you go. That time I did a bit better. Do are you alright? <laughs> That's the fourth beam. Don't do it again. Didn't even give him the chance, boy. Yeah, if he does his spinny attack, we throw the um we throw the black hole at him. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. I thought that might um I thought that might drag him in. Although actually, all the shots he fires out do get black holes into one spot, which is nicer. Ah, oh, I buggered that one up. Lost all the health so far. When he's moving this fast, my C-section babies can't get a grip. Can he get a grasp on him? He's actually taking quite a while to kill despite us having C-section. I realize we don't have a ton of damage, but I thought this damage would have been enough. Yeah. Oh, dude. Stop walking directly into everything, please. Okay, not not a great start. That was not a good dogma fight. But then again, my damage is worse than I thought it would be. I thought I'd be absolutely slapping. I think my C-section baby should have a hard time latching. Which makes it sound like I'm a feeding mother, but, you know. Yeah, because they kind of rotate still around him. Like, they're decent. Dude, I hate it when he does that. He's like, hey, I'm going to go straight. <laughs> Lie. Get wrecked. The good thing is nothing can shoot us. <laughs> it's quite literally impossible. Because Saturnus steals the tears, or they get destroyed, and then if they actually reach us, we've still got a ring around us. And then the C I think the C section parts are also destroying tears while they're hovering over him. What happened to my willows? Okay, they're there. Good. I thought they died for a second. I think the Willows are following the flies right now, which is a bit sad. There you go, look. Get destroyed. Okay, this is going well. Just sit still and we'll be fine. <laughs> the knockback of everything just can't even get to me. There you go. Nice. I think we're going to be absolutely fine here and get a nice little unlock. I love um, how the tiny planet effect works in the beast fight. It looks so cool. Okay. Well, that's a lot of C-section babies on you right there. Which is it? I keep saying this like it's a normal sentence to say and then I think to myself, hey, you're talking about C-section babies. That's really weird. <laughs> It's just a strange sentence to have coming out my mouth while I'm playing a game, but... Give us the best item in the game and that's how it's going to be. Finn knew what he was doing when he named it C-Section. So weird how C-Section went from being literally the worst item in the entire game, because it did literally nothing, to being the best in the entire game, both for synergies and for damage. Like, literally ranked the top. The top dog. This guy okay? Whoa, what the? What's going on here? What's all this? What happens if I gravity shift? Okay, don't gravity shift. <laughs> gravity shift is not a good idea. Okay. 
kind of saw that one coming. The skulls don't move right. They move weirdly. Okay, we got him. I always like it when you get him while he's in his shadow form like that. Okay, keep the Lust card ready just in case that I doubt we're going to need it. Are you eternal? You are not. Okay. Here we go. You can see all the C-section babies. Wait, did they, once they go off screen, do they just, are they gone? I'm not exactly sure how that's working. I mean, we're doing decent enough damage to him. It's not a lot, but it's going okay. I should try bombing him as well. Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, my Lord. Just flings the bomb so far. Oh, wait. He actually eats the C-section babies this time. Yeah, another sentence I didn't think I'd hear myself saying, but there you go. We're doing mediocre damage to him. Beast, Beast is resilient. But we are also almost invincible, so. The only thing that can hurt us is contact damage. And honestly, don't think contact damage is the biggest concern in this fight. Despite the fact that I just took contact damage. <laughs> Ignore that. Okay. On to the last part of this. The easy bit. I swear his health keeps going up sometimes. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that bomb <laughs> went sky high. Okay, there you go. And we unlock Palace. Thank you very much for the suggestion to unlock that. Very glad that I did. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.